Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where Krell is currently stocking out some food. We have stumbled in on yet another gigantic herd of elk, given them quite the fright, and now have sent them careening through the forest in the middle of the night. Crow had wandered here into the uh, Lamar Canyon territory in order to try to find some help in taking out the Beartooth gang. But as he hasn't been able to find anyone, and uh, he figures might as well just go ahead and mark the spots while we've got it, we're going to go ahead and do a hunt. And then after that, resume our search for a female wolf to become our alliance member and help us take out the dangerous Beartooths. Also, it looks like all of the elk are onto us. Let's go ahead and give this one a little nibble. Is she a weak one? Eh, she's a little bit weak. We might be able to take her out and get some food. Uh, what about, I mean, she's got better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. All right, and easier than taking out a baby, that's for sure. All right, maybe we can, come on, let's separate her. The herd is now running backwards, back towards their bull elk. Look at this, oh my gosh, he's just getting dragged along. Crow, this would be so much easier if we could find you somebody to work with. All right, oh, these elk are just zigzagging all over the side of the mountain. Oh, this is probably a moment that he lives for. Oops, all right. I think this is a moment that he lives for. Crow, your legs are splaying in a kind of concerning manner, but I'm sure that will be fixed eventually. Oh, look at him. It's just so amazing to watch the hunt. It's really just so powerful. And just hunting in the middle of the night like this, surrounded by so many of the elk. All right, let's do this. Don't get kicked by anybody. He's got so much endurance compared to his brother, Silver. And let's get another back leg, slow you down. Oh, we'll be able to, we'll be able to solve this, I think. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Her sisters are coming. Can we go by the side? Let's go ahead and try to regain some of our stamina. There, a nice gentle lope, chasing it down. Look at that, the starry sky above. The elk aren't even crying out, maybe because it's the middle of the night. Good side bite. Good leg bite. Oh, that bull elk. If we get anywhere close to him, he's probably going to viciously attack. Well, the bull elk, we're, we're kind of the ones doing the vicious attacking right now. But this is also part of the cycle of life. Come on, crow. Oh, oh, that was definitely a bit of a blow to the head. She's ready to start trying to fight for her life. Let's get a little bit of, come on, a little bit of endurance. She's back on the run. Look at them. They've really been zigging and zagging just back and forth through the river. Her herd is getting ahead of themselves. There we go. We've got her by the neck. Oh my gosh, crow. Considering that your legs kind of went backwards, that was a little concerning. His health is really down from this, so I really hope we can take her out soon. Oh, jeez! Oh, she's definitely fighting for it. I can't blame you, ma'am. I would want to survive, too. Hang on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, crow. Come on, you're so close. Whose endurance is going to last first? Oh, this is so sad to see. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, she's really... How about no, you jerk? Fooey! Run for it! Is that a Lamar Canyon male? You're really rude! Can you believe that? Once again, what is it with the Lamar Canyons and coming up just as we are about? You jerk. Oh, is this the way out? Kind of. This isn't your territory if I pee on it enough, you know. Did he chase us away? Okay, I think he chased us away. Let's go ahead and try marking a couple times. What a complete jerk. Did you see that? Oh, he is, he is following us, actually. Come on, come on, come on, come on, crow. I saw him a couple times, so Crow's gonna, in protest, we were two bites away from having some dinner. 
And now we're exhausted. Oh, we're gonna have to find something to scavenge. Just freaking rude canyons. I think Crow's beginning to get completely agitated and just cannot believe that we can't find anyone to be our companion. We can't find anyone at this point to come and join us. Huh? We have now we have now pulled away their territory from this spot. So take that, you guys. Jeez. Huh. I'm not going to take any risks, though, and we're going to go a little bit further before we go ahead and sleep for the night. But can you believe how rude that was? Well, I bet that was a good day for the cow elk, though. So I will admit that. She's probably really relieved. Saved at literally the last moment, but it was just so exhilarating to be with Crow during the hunt. He was so close, so close to being able to just fulfill that wild role. For just a moment, all of these concerns about alliances and packs, and if one pack is too aggressive than the others, why can't we find peace long enough to be able to settle that issue? Uh, but he was able to put all of that aside for just a moment and just focus on being a wild wolf in his prime, taking down the prey that he was designed over time and millennia through natural selection to, to have. Little fox, little fox, little coyote, that's what that is. Well, you, you head over there, you go and get little coyote, as my beloved chips would say. All right, let's see. This seems like a good place to go ahead and sleep. <laughs> can't believe that lost our food had to take a nap but that was that was exhilarating chasing down what you were meant to chase crow over countless generations of evolution you were built for that and it was stolen from you at the last moment but that's okay that's also part of it help holy bear tooths maybe Okay, how to react to this. We're done trying to pretend to be rough and tough, I think. Who are you? Like, who are you? The eight miles again. Ah. <sighs> Just attacked. This is this is because the, the, this is just absolutely uncalled for. I cannot believe this. Now they're attacking us. What is this? That's it. I don't even. Did they take down a carcass nearby, and that's why they're so agitated? Like apparently there's a cow elk carcass yonder. Is it my cow elk? I bet it's my cow elk. Here's a little coyote. <laughs> I think they took down a mule deer nearby. Those eight miles! They're like my new nemesis! I can't believe this! That's it! I think Crow's just like, I can't even make heads or tails of this ridiculous situation anymore. I just want, I wanted a nap. I want food. Ugh. And there's a bit of lag because there's a lot going on. Do you see all the stuff going on down here? Can't even get a good night's sleep anymore. We need a partnership. And what does this scent pile have to say? They are still howling back there. They are so rude. All right, so there's cow elk, cow elk carcass. It's probably the cow elk that I almost took out that some other lucky hmm, male dispersal wolves. Yeah, those are, those are another pile of male dispersal wolves. Maybe it was them. All right, come on. Where are we going here? I could really use some food. What was that? Hmm. Could have sworn I heard something in the shadows there. All right. Ah, what chaos, right? So what is this? 15 minutes ago, mill dispersal wolves that direction, huh? Okay, so don't go that direction, but thankfully they don't seem to be going in the direction of the food. So we're gonna keep running this way. And we'll see if we can find a little bit of something to fill up our stomach so that we can recover from the hunt that we unfortunately lost out on. 
And this is just truly ridiculous. Now the eight miles, I feel like the reputation of the bear tooths being so aggressive and not really having anyone be able to, to fight them back, not having anyone be able to, uh, oh, there's an elk herd. Lucky all of you, I'm kind of exhausted right now. I'm back in their territory. I went straight back. So did he seriously take my cow elk? Where's my cow elk? Ugh. Spike elk. Where's my food? Yee! What the heck? What a ridiculously bold elk. Did you see that? That's just, this is just depressing. When even the elk are giving you a little kick. Like, that's just sad. All right, we're out of here. Let's see, we need to get out of this pack territory. The eight miles apparently are patrolling this area too, so we need to be very careful. I'm really worried about this. Is this just going to be like a world of, of over aggressive packs that we're never gonna find a female if we keep this up? Oh geez, and now there's bull elk. You guys can just keep to yourselves. All right, what was over here recently? The Hayden males, ah, uh, even the Hayden males are, oh geez, did I just stumble on another wolf? I did. Why is it nothing but boys? Why are all the female wolves missing? This is ridiculous. Snowshoe hare. I'm getting so hungry. I want to chase down that hare, but I also need, here, you know what? The Hayden males are here, so I'm going to go ahead and sleep over here. Let's try giving a howl out of sheer desperation. The dawn is rising across Yellowstone once more. Crow finds himself surrounded by hyper-aggressive male wolves on all levels. Well, not all of them are hyper-aggressive, but I just feel like there's a lot of unsettled behavior going on. So I should take that back. It's not because they're male wolves. I wonder if there's a severe lack of females that is just sending all of these packs into chaos. They're fighting over mates and territory that just don't exist. That just don't exist. Really? Must you? Those were all males too. They're chasing each other, I think. Yes, they are, look. They've just descended into mass like chases. Different groups arrived in response. Who who do we have here? The Eight Miles and the Haydens. Ha! They're actually busy chasing each other. Do you see this? What? I cannot believe this. I wonder they are fighting with one another. Look. Okay, don't get don't let them get too close. But they are indeed all chasing each other in circles. I'm not seeing any blows land, but they are really giving one another, really giving one another the what for. So the Haydens arrived and the Eight Miles both arrived in response to, oh, there's food that way, in response to our howling. Uh, I don't think we want to go that direction though. Dang it! All right, so Hayden's in eight miles. Let's go ahead and relocate the eight miles. So eight mile, Hayden, male. All of them are males. Uh, not helping. <laughs> Let's go towards the Wapitis. In some in Silver's world with his mate Marigold, the Wapiti pack has been one that has often often been uh, in intense territorial disputes with Silver's mate's family of origins, like her, her family pack, the Canyon pack, and the Wapiti pack have fought so much that Silver actually took out one of the Wapiti founding males. It was quite dramatic and I really didn't know how that was going to end, but I, 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 that's in their story and that story is playing out parallel to Crow being here, but I wonder if in a twist of fate, we actually need to go and find help. We need to go and find wolves to work with us or at least just be one wolf. One wolf, all we're asking for is one wolf. At this point, at this point, we just need the one. I'm wondering if the bear tooths have actually been fighting with the other ones. Holy cow. I mean, we'll have to go and search for the bear tooths and see if they moved on and if the threat still lingers or not. But 
We can't even find one wolf to become our partner. This is ridiculous. Are all the females missing? I'm, I'm a little worried about this, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's a scent. What was that? Mule deer! All right, well, we do need a bit of a nap. We're getting very hungry. Mule deer. Three hours, 50 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago. Is there a lucky rabbit's foot? Which direction? One hour, 30. All right, and the mule deer also came from this direction. I can hear the birds chirping. Okay, the bunny decided to go this direction. Let's go ahead and follow this. We must have run just past it. These little guys like to zigzag a lot. Five minutes ago. Where'd you go, little one? Just now. Just now, huh? Just now, ha! Okay, and... Thank you, sorry. Sorry, little guy. All right, well, let's go ahead and finish off this meal and get some more rust because we are definitely wounded. We definitely need to still, unfortunately, recover. If we can find a carcass or an easy meal, that would mean a lot to give Crow a little bit of health back, but it seems all of the females of the area are for some reason missing. We cannot seem to find a mate. I haven't seen a dispersal female in forever, but we'll go ahead and see if we can try to find some of them. So at this point, we just need somebody to form an alliance with. We need somebody to help us search out and see what has happened to the Beartooths. Um, this is way big a pack. What is even happening there? Why is it nothing but males and why are they chasing us and who are they? Look at this nonsense. Look at this nonsense. All right, we're gonna have to pick apart which of these packs is which. The Haydens have followed us, that's part of them. And we're gonna have to see Haydens and a lot of other males. Everyone is just scattering to the wind. This, who won? Was it the eight miles who won again? I think it was the eight miles who won again. Let's go ahead and give a sniff. Who ran off? The Haydens ran off. So it is the eight miles who I think have won. Oh my gosh, is that the eight mile group or is that the bear tooth group? Can I get a good sniff? That is indeed the eight miles and they are still chasing us. <laughs> Maybe we can drag them into the Wapiti pack territory and have this problem take care of itself. This is just one moment after another where Crow is not catching a break. He even ran into a rock. Poor, poor Crow. Hopefully we can find a female wolf who will hear some sense or reason and work with us in the future. Holy cow. But we'll have to continue to search through the shadows and see where Crow's journey takes him. So, my friends, if you could, do please leave a like for Crow and his attempts to find anyone to become an alliance wolf with. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!